Hello everybody. I hope all of y'all are having a good day today. It's, uh, I think Wednesday morning here in the jungle. And, uh, I, uh, just got a few things on my mind I want to share with you guys. Uh, my thoughts on what's going on in the world right now. And, uh, see if I can get some light on in here. It's kind of dark. Yeah, there we go. That's better. There was some, uh, Ancient scrolls discovered back in 1947 alongside the Dead Sea Scrolls called the Nag Hammadi and uh, in them was uh, a lot of the apocryphal. Um, and in one of them was a letter from Peter to Philip and Peter was talking about the Archons, the rulers of the world. And, um, and the only way to defeat them was with the Palerma, the light from within, the Christ within us is the only way to beat them. And, uh, and God is love. The Archons are like this parasitical um, spirit that lives off of misery, pain, suffering, negative energy. They love negative energy. It's like their drug. And um, they... Um, I guess that's why the, the humans that allow them in, um, they're so addicted to the, I don't like to say the word because the algorithm, I pick it up, but the chrome, you know, that they love, that they take from torturing children and, and retrieving it, and it gives them a high. And, and the way they get the high is from drinking the blood from a child or someone that has been tortured to the point of death and they're just extremely terrified, okay? It comes from the most worst negative energy you can imagine and they use it to get high, all right? And it's supposed to be like a, uh, uh, the fountain of youth for them too. <clears throat> so anyway, love is their enemy. Lo the, the love is what destroys them. And a world that is awakened to love, that vibrates in that frequency of love, they can't exist in. They'll literally starve to death and have to go somewhere else, okay? I've been watching some, not all. I don't like to watch it too long, but this coverage on CNN and some of these other stations um, about what's going on in Israel right now or the country that they call Israel, okay? <clears throat> the country, the, the land that was purchased in 1917 by the Rothschilds, okay? Okay. Um, I've been watching the, these uh, anchors, news anchors, or to what they're, we're supposed to call them, news anchors. They're just literally just giddy. They're, they're just so excited about what's going on right now. It's like they just can't contain themselves. You know, showing the rockets and the explosions and telling us constantly how many people are dead, how many people have been taken hostage and all this stuff. And... Um, I want you to look at this one dude here. I'll put him up here on the screen. He's some kind of uh, military analyst or something, and he was talking to this other dude, this uh, other anchor-type person, and uh, he was talking about how, you know, Hamas, you know, this Hamas is the enemy. This is the guy they're telling you to hate. This is, or not the guy, but the people, the group. This is who you need to hate, okay? They love to tell you who to hate. Anyway, they're saying this Hamas has to be completely and totally destroyed. We have to kill them all. And, and the news anchor's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's like they're just giddy about this, okay? Just so excited about it. More death, more destruction. And we have to kill them all. You know, and this one guy, it's like you could just almost tell he was struggling to maintain his human form, his vibrating so low, you know, that he was just about to show his real face. I'm watching these guys, and then I was watching another um, clip you are, earlier. You are right. I'm so I'll let you watch it right here. Friends. I hope everybody's getting it. would be released. But you can see alive. that, that just listen to it. She's oh, acting. Safe. There's not a real tear in her eye. No real tears. Right? It's like the world is a show. I've got a picture of a lot of people you know, supposedly taking the pictures of Biden. You know, they're all excited. Everybody's holding their camera up, but not a single camera is on. It's like the world is a stage. Anyway, they're, they're telling everybody who to hate, who is the enemy. 
and and most of the people in the world right now, everybody's been waking up and saying, oh, you can't trust mainstream media. You can't trust mainstream media. They're full of lies. They're full of lies and everything. You know, the, the, nobody or, or most of the people stopped falling for the lies about Ukraine. And so they were like, hmm, okay, they're not falling for that one. You know, so, so you know, the, the, the warlords... You know that they're they're not making enough money off their 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 weapons sales and stuff like that. So, um, okay, they're not buying this Ukraine story much any longer. There's just a few people still, still buying into that. We got to do something big, because see, they know this 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 mass awakening, this this worldwide real awakening is coming soon. The world full of love. They know this is coming soon, and and. So they're pulling out everything in the world to try to stop it. You can read the, the book Morals and Dogma, uh, penned by Albert Pike, who tells you exactly their plans, the, the three world wars going on in this world that they're going to have, and they're going to bring about their, they want to bring about their new world order. All right, so now the people are awakening to their lies, okay? And, and so they're like, okay, you know, nobody's really, you know, believes in the media anymore, anything like that. So this is what we'll do. Everything they, they've always tried to do is it's like they, they're reading the book of Revelation. And they, they say, if we stay in this parameter, if we stay right in here with this stuff, most of the Christians, which is almost three billion in the world, We'll just lay down and go, well, it's Bible prophecy. It's God's will. It's going to happen, right? And so this is, this is the, the big rabbit they're pulling out of the hat now. It's like, okay, we got to tell them Israel, them poor people in Israel are surrounded by their enemies and they're being destroyed. And that's all you're being shown right now is all these innocent people that were killed, these little white-haired old ladies that are being taken hostage and all these horrible terrorists, you know, standing over them and things like that. They're, they're pulling at people's heartstrings and everything and, and they're, they're saying, hate this group of people here. Hate this group right here. They're trying to get everybody, keep everybody vibrating low. Don't want anybody vibrating high up here in love because love conquers all. Love heals everything. So they know if, if they stay in this little parameter, most of the Christians, then they start, you know, it's like, oh, we believe the, the, the mainstream media now because it's, it's Israel and, and they're surrounded. And, and, and I stand by Israel. Everybody's, I stand by Israel, you know. And uh, it's Bible prophecy. It's Bible prophecy. Most of these groups, Hamas, ISIS, all, all of these enemies that we've been told to hate and all this stuff, you look into 100% of them, not just a small percentage, but every single one of them are being influenced by the CIA and Mossad. Every single one of them. So whenever they need a conflict to stir up somewhere so they can make their, their warlord bosses, these stockholders and shareholders in these weapons manufacturing companies, corporations money you know we got to stir up a conflict somewhere so so we can make them some money they're they're, they're hot screaming they don't have any money and now they know that they're gonna have to do everything in the world to hold on to all this power and stuff that they've seized and grabbed this inheritance that they've stolen from us the meek shall inherit the earth it's supposed to be ours but they've stolen it from us all right and so they're trying to keep us vibrating down here in this low range instead of love. Because whenever we start loving again, that's whenever the land will be healed and we will get our inheritance back. And we don't have to fire a single shot. We don't have to do anything. Just start loving everybody. I hear everybody all the time saying, we've got to turn back to God, put God back in schools, put God back in this. What is God? God is love. So we got to put love back in school. We got to put love back in everything. If you put love back in everything, you're putting God back in everything. And when God is back in everything, love is back in everything. Everything is healed because love heals everything. Love conquers all. Don't pay any attention to what's going on on the TV. Don't let them get you worked up. Don't let them toy with your emotions. It's all a show. It's not real. Don't lay down on your back and just say, well, it's Bible prophecy. 
So I guess God's going to destroy all those enemies. God never said anything about destroying enemies. Now, you can interpret some of that stuff to think that God is a vengeful God in the book. But God said, love your enemies, even the ones that hate you. I love you all. God bless.